Okay, so y'all know I was doing a video about this. Oh, man. Look, the future isn't looking that bright for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's almost tiresome, bros. But check this out. It's from comicbook.com. Marvel Studios EVP of production, Victoria Alonzo. So Marvel Studios exec says the Disney-owned studios actively working toward a more diverse and inclusive Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, that's just their commentary, but what does she exactly say? And this is out of a Reddit q and I would feel honored to have a member of the LGBTQABCDEFG group represented in our films, and I hope the future shows that. She also adds, I can tell you we are actively working on making our universe as diverse and inclusive as we can. With us, we have a lot coming in the future. Now, though nobody here can confirm this because nobody here has seen the movies, nobody knows what's going to what's going to happen. I don't think it's too much of a reach if somebody looks at this and they say, "You know what? The Marvel Cinematic Universe may be going to shit." Anytime I hear the words diverse and inclusive, they're never surrounded by anything positive. The gimmicky terms that are used, really, if we're going to be completely honest, it just means we're less straight white men. That's all. That's all it usually means. They don't like that. So, yeah, nobody's asked for diversity for like predominantly black shows or anything. Nobody asking for diversity in that. Nobody. They just they just only do that shit when there's universes and and, and movies, individual movies that has too many straight black uh, straight white men to their liking. And. It sucks because you can see something that's been developed for as long as it is it has. And what this leads me to believe that there's going to be a high chance that there's going to be really a bunch of characters being introduced that fucking suck. There's characters that introduce that fucking suck. Um, that have no business showing on screen, like the Captain Marvels of the world, um, as anything like a lead character or anything like that. Um, going to be a lot of characters that pop up nobody gives a shit about um that are there to exist just be blunt with it as tokens and by that i mean they're only going to be there because they are of some uh minority group that's the only reason why they're there they're going to be there just because they're part of some sort of minority group so what that does and now what they need to realize is that that sacrifices the plot a sacrifice is good storytelling. A sacrifice is good uh, character development because what you're saying is that you have an agenda that you are trying to prioritize over that. So now it's, you're going to get more shoehorns. You're going to get all of that. And that's what, that's what it sounds like. Diversity and inclusiveness is never a good thing when they get to talking that shit. You just do it, right? If you have to prioritize it, if you have to prioritize something like that, adding, adding different types of people, and in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, then yeah, it's telling me that that's your agenda. Victoria Alonzo, look, I don't know who this is. I can click her name real quick on this, but I have no idea who she is. But um, I don't, I don't know any. She might, she might not even read fucking comics, man. She not, might not be a, a comic person. She might just be a person that's specifically there for diversity efforts, and she may herself be a diversity hire. And that's not to diminish anything that she's done in her life in terms of accomplishment or anything like that. I'm just keeping the shit 100. Diversity and inclusiveness are jokes of, of terms. They're only there to be, again, <laughs> it's, it means less white, straight, straight men, but it also means that people that have their own agenda, they're admitting to you what the agenda is, right? It's not like me speculating. They're admitting what their agenda is. Because, again, if, if you wanted to bring in other types of characters, you just do it, Right. You just you just do it, and and if you actually have it plot driven, it would make sense within the plot. When you say that you gotta, all right, that's what we're focusing on. That's that's you. That's the agenda. It's fucking stupid, man. Like, why do they keep? What the fuck is it with these people responding to? And this is what I'm. This is my my message. I've I've made this sort of uh, comment in, in a multiple different videos. But this is my message to the members of the LGBTQ community and everybody associated with them 
you have to come to terms with the reality that you represent a very, very significantly small portion of the population, a very significantly small portion. And that's not my opinion. That's just a fact. And because of that, realistically speaking, you have to navigate based on that. Not everybody is the coolest with your lifestyle. Um, not everybody wants to see that shit played out on, on screen. That's just the reality of the situation. And, the, and, and you're significantly small, you know, portion of the population. That doesn't mean people hate you or anything like that. It just means that you're a significantly small portion of the population. So I have no idea why people feel as if they are owed some sort of inclusiveness or diversity efforts. And it's not just with that specific community. When they represent that small of a pop sense of the population, it's like me asking where are the and caps and, and TV, they don't exist. Well, there's not a whole lot of and caps walking the earth. And anyway, something is not diminished simply because it doesn't have all different of these types of people. It's not, that doesn't mean the quality is bad. It doesn't, it doesn't mean the quality is bad just because there are, there's like maybe one specific type of demographic. That doesn't diminish the product. You're not old this sort of inclusivity. You're not old representation. There will never be a human affair. There never, there will never be, no matter what, no matter how unnatural you guys try to, uh, you try to push this, but it's an unnatural sort of thing. But not, I'm not saying the, uh, the sexuality thing. I'm saying what is unnatural is that there'll be a human affair that will be rep that will be equal, that will have equal representation among all different demographics. I've said this so many different times. There will never be a human affair in which all demographics are equal in representation. It will never, ever exist. It can't exist. It shouldn't exist. When you consider the vast amounts of, 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 of populations and, and not only that, the different cultures that people belong to, certain types of individuals tend to go this way. Certain types of in individuals tend to go that way. They tend to consume this sort of uh, media and, and so forth. You're not old representation. I'm not old representation. I'm not old black libertarian representation in TV and film. I'm not old that shit. Black and cap athletic comic book reading metal band fronting black people. Like, come on, bro. Like it's like, it's, it's the equivalent to be bitching about that. But what it does is so arrogant, man, because it shows these people that they're so, their heads are so far up their asses, Hollywood's heads so far up their asses, and more so their, their ego, their big massive ass, and how they getting that up their ass, I don't really know how they get that massive ego up their ass, but it's up there. They're sniffing their own behinds. Because they perpetuate this inclusivity representation idea because all it does is give them sort of this sense of, uh, of power, of relevancy. Hey, look at me because I'm this type of person. I'm doing, uh, you know, I'm helping all these other individuals uh, out. No, you're not. You're just perpetuating an idea that these sorts of things need to be funneled through you. You're teaching people that, well, the only way that you can relate to something, the only way you can consume something and like something is if you, if, if, um, that person has the same skin tone as you, that person is the same sexuality as you, that person is the same gender as you. It's bullshit. And it's for fucking losers. Let's just be straight up. First of all, nobody should be trying to get some sort of sense of self-esteem or empowerment from fictional characters, especially these fake ass Hollywood individuals who literal their jobs are to act. That's what they do. They make shit up. Like that's literally the, their jobs, right? That's what they do for a living. They're fake for a living. They're, they're not themselves for a living. So it's like, Hey, grandstand, look at me. Look how I'm empowering uh, 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 people, the, the LGBTQ plus community. That's me. Look at me. I'm empowering them by being on, showing up on screen and being shoehorned into universes because it's about me though. There's these other characters that already exist that I can maybe relate to in other ways, but they're not gay like me. They're not 
black like me. They're not Hispanic like me. They're not Asian like me. They're not female like me. What the fuck is this, bro? And the fact that Marvel keeps trying to go down and go down this route, be it in comics, be it in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they are appealing to a very small minority, a loud minority, and I'm just saying these raging SJWs who think that they are old representation and they think that it's a positive thing to infiltrate all forms of fandom. They're bullshit. And then people wonders, oh, why? And they set it up. They set it up just like that. They set it up in the sense that, hey, look at this. This is gay people, right? That's how, that's how they try to, try to set the shit up. It's fucking dishonest. But on a serious tip, and I can't say this enough, I've done videos on this, talking about how representation is a gimmick, how equality, this is a horse shit term, it doesn't mean anything. Because the same man isn't equal to himself on different days. I have videos out on this. You can go check those out. You can type in Young River 5'9 equality, Young River 5'9 representation. I have videos on this, breaking down this shit. And on a serious note, if you are of a minority or marginalized community, you have some serious soul searching to do if you need to see yourself in fictional characters, but even more so, the only way that you can see yourself is that is if that person has the same skin tone um, or sexuality or gender as you. Get a grip!